Hi, Jill. Thank you for your time. It's an honor and a really amazing opportunity. I have a couple of questions for you. I don't want to take much time, but uh, you can answer them freely. It's regarding mobility and efficiency. And I know you're really, really into this topic. So I would love to have some insight as what you have um, to say about this. No, thank you, Joaquin. It's uh, my pleasure to be here talking to you guys. I think uh, this challenge that you guys are doing this in in India is uh, is, is great. You know, um, it really forces you to uh, think very carefully about about um, how to tackle some of these issues with uh, with efficiency. And I love it. How was the evolution of Dynamo Edge from motorsports telemetry to the energy efficiency in fleets and a more wider um, use of the information? I think to answer this this question in a, hopefully in a reasonable way, <laughs> um, I think we have to go back to you know why do telemetry systems uh, uh, exist, right? Telemetry systems, either in motorsports or uh, different vehicles, but in motorsports is a very uh, highly developed um, technology. It records, you know, so you have a lot of sensors in the vehicle. You know, it records a lot of uh, different parameters in the vehicle, and the telemetry is used to send that that information um, to someone, right? Uh, that is not in the vehicle, and that someone will look at that data uh, many times we'll, uh, we'll use different software to try to uh, understand the data analyze the data and that's only useful to the extent that that influences the decisions that that person is making right otherwise it's data for for data's sake um, and i think dynamo edges systems are uh, very useful uh, from that perspective. Um, it, it helps uh, the person on, that is in charge of making decisions to make better decisions. Um, so from this perspective, um, it can be applied in in many ways, uh, not only in, in motorsports or uh, to try to understand and improve the efficiency of fleets. Um, but it has a wide variety of applications. That's great. Thanks for the answer. Yeah, motorsports is the starting point and the testing grounds, you could say. But how do you see the advancements in technology and telemetry making a difference in the near future for the automotive industry? I think not only in the automotive industry, right? But uh, I think in a lot of industries, the ability to measure things um, through different sensors, um, ability to record that data and ability to transmit that data is over the past few decades, but particularly the last few years is becoming way more pervasive, you know, and, um, and as I see it, will continue to improve. So I see a world where there is more and more data, uh, coming from not only uh, uh, vehicles, you know, but everywhere, mm -hmm. right? Um, and again, you have to make sense of that data uh, to be able to make decisions, uh, good decisions, uh, hopefully better decisions based on the, uh, based on that data. And in a way, I, I don't think the automotive industry is any different, right? Uh, whether it will influence uh, the usage profile of uh, vehicles, uh, whether it will improve the development of vehicles for, for certain applications. Um, uh, I think it's very much a case where uh, more information will create um, efficiencies up and down the, the, the process. And regarding this uh, search for optimization, what do you think, what's your opinion on the Shell Eco Marathon and its effort to promote and search for cleaner energy sources? I think it's great, <laughs> you know, and, uh, and I think it's great for a, for a variety of reasons. First of all, and primarily actually, is because it involves a lot of students and um, the students are the ones who are going to become professionals in in the different industries and uh, and they are the ones that are going to 
help make this world a better place, um, help us live in a more sustainable planet, uh, and help huma humanity uh, prosper um, and be around for millennia to come. So it's a very, it's an initiative that is very focused on sustainability, uh, and it's an initiative that is very focused on on young people. So for those two reasons, I think it's fantastic. What aspects of the energy industry do you think need to change or evolve for us to have a cleaner or better planet for years to come? I'm, I'm not an expert in the, in the energy industry, right? It's, a, it's, a, it's an industry that has been around for a long, long time, <laughs> you know, and, and it's served our humanity well um, over, over centuries and decades. I think it's one thing I do think is clear in my mind as our population grows and we have more and more people in the planet and we will probably continue to grow. We have to find more sustainable uh, energy sources, you know, and frankly, I don't think there's one answer. <laughs> but again, my disclaimer is that's not my expertise, but my gut feeling tells me um, that's going to be a mix of a variety of things, uh, you know, that are su suitable for different locations, different applications. Uh, some are better than others for, again, for different uh, locations and, and different applications. And um, I see the industry in general diversifying and the sources of energy that it provides to society. It is really interesting looking at a future where we could have either electric power plants, hydrogen power plants, um, hybrid or even e-fuels as they're becoming more um, research and looked into, you know. And I know it's not your field, but with, uh, with all the years you've had into telemetry and how combustion engines work or different kind of uh, engines and, and reliability, which um, energy plan would you try to lean into if you're looking for fleets or um, large trips, you know, autonomous, all that stuff? Again, I would answer in a very similar way to, to the question that I just answered. Mm -hmm. I, I think this is, um, I don't know, I get the feeling that people try to think there's one answer to all of this. And I don't believe there's one answer because it's very application and geography specific. <laughs> Um, application, what I mean is, depends on your duty cycle, right? Uh, depends whether you drive on a highway at a steady 50 miles an hour or, uh, and you do that for hours and hours, or whether you, you just go from home to the gym, to the supermarket and back in, in half an hour. It depends on the energy infrastructure of the particular location that you're in the world you know it's always hard to predict the future so, yeah. uh, but it's actually it's actually impossible to predict the future with any degree of certainty but uh, if i was to uh, venture and 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 try to um uh, talk about that i i, I see uh, a world where there's a variety of different uh, solutions uh, for different vehicle applications and for different locations you know one thing is for sure liquid fuels in general right are a wonderful thing for for transportation right they're easy to handle they're easy to store they contain a lot of energy and uh, there's no wonder that uh, most of vehicles today use some type of uh, liquid fuel <laughs> it's because it's it's uh, it's very practical right um so i applaud the initiative on on making a lot of this uh, liquid fuels in a sustainable uh, fashion you know obviously there's a lot of people who are working on on making hydrogen part of the energy mix in the transportation industry i think in general a lot of these uh, technologies uh, as you say e-fuels in general and uh, hybrids uh, electric uh, they will all be part of the mix, uh, the transportation mix, and in one way or another, as we look towards the future. So you could say it's our best choices to keep having this initiative, like the Shell Aqua Marathon, so students can keep pushing the boundaries and finding new and better solutions for all of this. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, I even look at today, 
right and my own usage profile i have a regular internal combustion card that i use for certain things and i have an electric card that i use for other things um, and and they're both great and um and if we continue down this this road um everything will, will get better is because of people like you you know and your colleagues you know participating in this wonderful challenge and and they're interested in the subject and then uh, you're going to put your mind to it you know <laughs> hopefully for the rest of your life that uh, we're going to end up with uh, with a better place so thank you and uh, congratulations thank you so much for your time hope we can Take care. meet up again in person maybe and talk more about cars yeah. in the future good luck in the rest of the competition thank you so much Shield.